this is Kato trying to play and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. In the last episode everyone, we built this lovely house which I'm standing on the balcony of right now and in today's episode we are going to be making preparations to go to the end. Yes, that is right. In this episode I plan that we're going to make preparations. In the next episode we're going to be going to the end and facing off the Ender Dragon. But for, until then we need to get ready with all our potions or our golden apples, our blocks, our everything, basically all the supplies we need. So if you like the sound of that, please make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're out or new around here, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's get on with the video. And I've just noticed it is turning light. Ah well, we can head to our brand new house with our nice kind of library here with our lectern. Go past our bunk bed and head downstairs past this lovely fireplace. Well, this lovely stove, head off, and admire it a little before we head off. So yeah, yeah, that's looking good. I'm loving how that looks up there. But anyway, yeah, first of all, we need to head to bed, and then we need to start making preparations. So, as I said, the kind of things I want, I want to be getting some regeneration potions, some health potions, uh, maybe strength as well. Um, just an example of a couple. And there's my alarm bell, so we can head right on into bed. Well, I've also just seen my totem oven dying on top of my bed. That's something we could come that that could come in really handy in case we're in a really dangerous situation. So let's get this out quickly. You'll be coming with us. Uh, we can just stick some excess stuff in here, like uh, this uh, glass pane, this glass, and yeah, in here. Ooh, I'm not sure if there's too many materials we want from here, so we can ignore that chest. What are we having here? We could use some tridents. That would be a very effective weapon, I think. Or at least, it might be in concept. So, we can take a couple of those. And we also need to, um... We need to make the rest of the Eyes of Ender. So, I think we need eight in total. So, let's go into food, apparently, for blaze powder. So, we need eight blaze powder. And if we can find where Eyes of Ender are, then that would be... Lovely, it's not in here. Uh, structures, no. Tools and weapons, perhaps? No, oh, yep, here it is, right at the end. So we need eight of these, and then we have a spare one. Hopefully, if we, um, if we come across an enderman in this episode, then maybe we'll be able to make an ender chest, which that would be, that would be very good for us. So we can easily transport items to and from the end, and there we go. We have some spare blaze powder here, so now all I can do is chuck the rest of these materials I don't need in here, like that. And let's see. First of all, we want to be getting ourselves some melon. Well, first of all, we need some bottles, so where are those? Um, I'll just grab some of this glass here. And yeah, we can make some bottles, and we need to make the, the four kind of potions I'm thinking of uh, that we're going to need are... Slow falling, so we'll need to camp out and get some phantom membrane for that. Then we also need strength, and we have blaze powder for that. And then we're also going to need um, regeneration and instant health, because both of those are going to come in really handy. So, first of all, we need to gather ourselves some nether wart here. I, I love just having this farm here, even though it's kind of a, it's really ugly actually. It's useful just to have you know an instant supply whenever I feel like it. So. Get all this nether wart planted back. We have 35 to use. And I'm also going to go ahead and fill up our water bucket while I'm here. Because, you know, you never know when you're going to need... Um, you never know when it's going to come in handy. So, that, that's something we're going to keep on us. And as we put our potions in here to brew, uh, let's, let's think of what block is the cheapest that we can use to pile up. So, okay. Here we have our... Our brewing stand, we need one, two, three in there. Uh, get some nether wart going, and we need blaze powder to power it. So we'll leave that cooking for a second. And yeah, I think we're gonna probably gonna get cobblestone because we have stacks and stacks and stacks of that stuff. So that's probably gonna be the best material for us to use. Uh, also, while I'm in the storage room, I think glowstone and redstone. There are a couple of things we're going to need for our potions. So I see we have none of there. It's in now that chest. Uh, no, 
It's then, okay, we have some glowstone we can use here, so let's grab, um, as you want. So strength too would be nice. Then also, can we get, uh, I don't think slow falling too is a thing. Um, could we get, ah, uh, I'm trying to think. Inst we can get instant health too, so there we go. We need two of those, and we're going to grow ourselves two redstone out of our literal mountains of it from there. And what else can we get? We can get... Oh yeah, we're here for the cobblestone as well, so we can grab it from any one of the chests we have numerous amounts of cobblestone in, so let's take uh, three stacks. That should be enough, hopefully. And if it isn't, we can just start mining some of it back anyway. So, there's our cobblestone. What do we also need? We need, um... Let's see, do we have any... We should have some gold in here, uh, in this chest. Yep, we can grab... Uh, two of these, and maybe these golden nuggets, and do we have any melons anywhere? Anywhere in particular? So we, we have the farm downstairs, but yeah, we have some right here, so let's grab two of, no, sorry, just one of these, and let's see. We can just go ahead with our gold and make this quickly, so make some gold nuggets. Where are you? Here you are. And where... Okay, golden melon's coming in food, which will be... Please be around here somewhere. I want you to be easy to make. Is it with melon? No. Is it with soups? Ah, no, it's here with the golden stuff, so... There we go, we have ourselves a, um... A golden melon. And let's see. We're definitely not making that enchanted apple, but we do way have... We do not have enough gold at all for that, so... Maybe a lesser one of the, that, but, um... Yeah, for now, as I said, let's go back and make the potions. Um, we should be able to make our strength one straight away here, because we have the awkward potion going. We just have to throw in some blaze powder, and then some glowstone dust as well. And, you know, this whole process, it could take quite a while, but, you know, we want to make sure we are prepared. So, another thing I'm going to be doing is heading down into the AFK fish farm that we have. And, um, while we're there, we are going to be, um, you know... We're going to be getting ourselves loads of enchanted books, hopefully for some maybe new armor, because you see some of this is getting worn down, and only the helmet and um, feet actually have enchantments. But we also want to get infinity on a bow to actually, um, or on a different bow, so we can destroy the end crystals really nice and quickly. So, okay, that's done brewing, and this is instant health, so we're going to pop a glowstone dust in here, and then those are good to take out. So, let's just see. While our inventory is going to be good in the fight, uh, we can combine these two tridents right here. So, let's chuck these together. Yep, we have ourselves a fully repaired trident. That reduces inventory space. Uh, we only need three of these nether wart. Uh, probably don't need our map. Actually, no, wait a second. Our maps are leading us to the end portal. So, those are what we're going to need. So, let's just see. We'll keep them there. And then we'll start the next set of potions brewing. So... Yeah, uh, what else? We probably don't need our shovel in the end, or our axe. Uh, we're only going to be needing one arrow, hopefully, so may want to get rid of those soon. Um, let's see, this glass we don't need anymore. Blaze rods, we're going to need at least one for some strength potion. And I think, yeah, this is what we can carry right now. So, is this potion almost done brewing? Uh, yep. Now we can pop ourselves, as I said, the blaze powder. Like this, just one of these. And we can toss the other one in for fuel. So we now need a gas tier. And the final potion set we're going to be brewing up is the slow falling. So while I'm in the AFK fish farm, we're also going to be um, accumulating knights so that we can actually... Okay, sorry. I thought I saw an enemy in the distance. Um, we're going to be getting our knights up so we can actually spawn some phantoms. Because, you know, usually we go to bed every time and I... I've just remembered, I did go to bed at the start of the episode, which I shouldn't have really, because now it'll take longer for us to get more, more phantoms to spawn. Ah oh, well. But anyway, yeah. Here we have some more gas tiers for our regen potions we're going to be getting. And this is going to be regen. I think this is going to be the longer potions. Um, but yeah, longer potions are... I think if we have a little bit of damage that we want to recover, and we keep taking a small amount of damage then the longer lasting regen is probably going to be the best for us. And what's this? 
This is strength, so let's put that nice glowstone dust in it. Make it strength two. And what can we do while we're waiting? Uh, we can see we can see if we have any of the um any oh what is it? It's some nice infinity books. We might have a whole ton of bows down in our fish farm that we can use just straight away, so let's grab these strength potions and set our next pair into brew while we head off and see what's in our underwater base. So let's hop into the water, past the iceberg, and oh we have dolphins. That is our mate. These guys are just really fun just hopping in and out of the water. And I love all the wildlife we have, like right in this lake. And also this drowned who has a nautilus shell. I will be taking that, thank you very much, sir. Nice, so yeah, we have our dolphins here. We can give us a grace effect for a second or two. We also have our nice squid, our fish. It's a, it's a very nice environment we've created here, especially since the aquatic update. So we're just going to hop down in here. And where is it? Okay, in our fish farm, we're probably going to have, yeah, right here. I've created, I think there are like tons of chests down here. Yeah. Okay, we have more fish than I think is ever going to be useful. So we don't have to, we don't have to worry about fish. We have tons in there as well. Uh, nothing in that hopper. Uh, let's, okay, let's dig our way out. And as you can see there, that was just some of our farms activating. We do have some uh, things we can use. We have, oh, this isn't the best enchanted book. We have punch to bow. Power Punch Flame, Power 3, we have some nice, well, that's a nice fishing rod, um, Mending, uh, we already have a Mending one, but you can't put Infinity on those, ah, oh, darn it, uh, anyway, I think we should take this Power, Flame and Punch one, and you can see if we have any Infinity books out the back here, because from all the AFK fishing I've done, we have got literally tons of a thing, so, no, wait, we want, yeah, Unbreaking, and infinity, so looting. No, we're just looking for those two, and none in there. Uh, I'm breaking and power three. That might increase the power level a tiny bit. Um, uh, that has in breaking and efficiency. Uh, efficiency is for a different tool. Sorry. Um, I see power. We already have the power things. Unbre. Oh, this is a better unbreaking book we can use. Yep, because it might it might increase the power to level five. So that's can be amazing and here is infinity so now that bow is ready to get all nice and you know fixed up uh, we can also combine it with a more actually we can craft ourselves a bow that we can um, combine it with just to give it full durability again so anyway let's hop back up to the surface and make sure not to sleep now because we want our phantoms to spawn so that is ice not water okay we can head over here Make sure that our, um, what is it, it's our regen potion. We make sure our regen potion is going nice and, oh no. Creeper, let's just close it all like that. And that never, he never came across it. So, here's our orca potion. We're getting it ready for regen. And, yes, do we have any string in here? I don't think we do, so. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to combine this bow with these books. Uh, not... Not that one first, we want to have the infinity on it first, so there we go, that's infinity, and there is breaking and an unbreaking infinity, flame and power five, so that's going to be our bow for the battle, this is our regular bow, which, now that I'm looking at it, it isn't, we are, I think we've actually just made a kind of better bow, so we may not actually use our current one ever again, unless we actually really need to, so there's our new bow. We can stick a Nautilus shell in here as well. And I did not consider that when making those a trap chest. But, okay. We can now add our redstone to our regeneration potions. And I don't think we have any um, any enchantments for a trident yet. Or at least enchanted books for a trident. Because since that, because since the aquatic update came out, I haven't really been using my fish farm. It's just accumulated over time. So... Let's see, we now have our full regen potions. Uh, once we craft ourselves up a bow, I think I'm going to go into AFK fishing mode. So, let's just see. Nothing out right here. Nothing to blow up our house. Uh, let's see, we can go into our storage unit. We should hopefully 
have some nice, um, maybe a boat already crafted. In fact, we may have one in our house. So let's just go here, slay this zombie fella, die. Yeah, just like that. And he dropped the carrot. Nice. A very rare drop, but still a welcome one. Um, no bows in there. And no bows in there, but we can, uh, we can leave the sticks. Yeah. Let's just hop over into our storage unit and craft ourselves up a bow. We can then fix our current bow that we've just made. And after that, we can head into the fishing farm and we'll be just about ready to head off. So, I'll see you guys all after I have finished my amazing fishing trip. Okay, so there we go, guys. We've just finished up our, like, I think it was about an hour or so. Maybe a little bit more of AFK fishing. And let's see what we've got. We need some trident enchantment. So let's see. We have, um, what do we have here? We have loyalty. We have loyalty three. That's, that's for the, that's for the uh, trident. You also have multi-shot. No, wait. That, that's for the crossbow. We can get a crossbow. Oh, that'll be good. We have, also have piercing. And let's see. Do we have any more? We have, uh, we have, mm, it's another loyalty three one, but it also has power. I don't think power affects, um, the trident. So that's not going to be something they're going to be using there. Also, let me just see if we can make a trident, that would be another amazing thing we could use. So, you know, I mean, um, a crossbow, that'd be something else we could use. But for now, I guess we're going to have to wait until nighttime arrives before we can actually start slaying ourselves some phantoms. So... Let me just, we can go into the house and we can see how many levels it'll take to enchant our trident and how we could craft a crossbow. So if we keep hopping up here, we can go onto our anvil right here, place our anvil, uh, let's put loyalty three on first, nice, and then piercing, that'll do, wait, what? I want the piercing though. Piercing's a trident enchantment. Does that not work? Oh, no. We just get the unbreaking. No, oh. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Like, I guess we can just go get an unbreaking book from somewhere else. But I guess for now, let's just, let's see. Where is our crafting table? We don't. Okay, it's right. It's under the brewing sand. Let's see. It'll be in tools. Maybe the bow. Okay, we need a trip by hook. Two string. Three sticks and one iron. I think we can make that. So, I see. We can make that. Maybe we'll be able to get an affinity on it as well. So, anyway, we we're gonna do that quickly. Then we're going to see if we can um, if when it becomes night time, we can spot ourselves any phantoms. So, anyway, uh, what the? Oh yeah. So, I think I guess while we've been AFK fishing, um, the land around us it's just been snowing and we've just got. A load of natural terrain generation, but anyway, one iron, then we want uh, three sticks, uh, we want, oh, what else, we want three sticks, we want two string and a trip by hook, so we should have some trip by hooks here somewhere, yeah, I've got a bunch of them from fishing, it just, I said, it's a random thing you can get from fishing, but it's still something that can happen, so anyway, uh, let's see, do we have some string somewhere, got it in here, we can have ourselves two of those. And craft ourselves up a crossbow like this. Now, let's see. We can go back into the, um, go back underground. See if we have any infinity books we can use. And also grab that multi-shot enchantment. So, let's go through here. And after that, we'll just wait until night time. We can grab ourselves some phantom membranes. And then we can head over to the, um, portal. And put in the ice vendor. Ready to get into the end next episode. So, I'm pretty sure... We had multi shot. Yep, that's what we want. Uh, mm, we got some power there, but we can use some other books in here. I'm gonna go enchant up this um this crossbow, and then we're gonna wait till night, and then we can come back and see just how many phantoms we can get. So okay, guys, it is now turning night. We have ourselves our crossbow uh, with piercing and a breaking. Turns out piercing. Wasn't for the trident, it was for our um, crossbow, and somehow, um, after put on the piercing, I couldn't add multi shot, so it's kind of a disappointment. But we're just looking for phantoms tonight, nothing much, but um, yeah, 
Let's just wait around a bit until some actually spawn. Oh, there we, there we go, guys. We got one right here. We just want to attack him as he's swooping in for us. So let's... Okay, we didn't get... I don't think we landed a proper hit in there, but we can see them approaching. We just want to head for cover, okay? Head for a little bit of cover. These guys are somewhat fearsome enemies, so um, let's run away. Let's, we don't want to anger the zombie. We just want to be taking on this phantom. Okay, so there we go. We killed him. We got two phantom membrane. Um, let's just kill the zombie anyway. Get him out of our way. There we go. He's dead. Uh, we can probably deal with one or two more phantoms. Uh, let's see. I know they're around here somewhere. They were just attacking us. Let's see. Okay. There we go. We got th four, five, four or five of them up there. So we can just deal with them as they come. Let's just give them a little bit of a swing. Oh no. We missed badly there. Let's see when the next one's coming. He is... Okay, which one is it? It's going to be this one. We can just keep swinging. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. He's been taken out. We've got some, we've got some membrane from him. Can we take out any more before the night's over? Uh, we've got one approaching fast in this direction. Uh, let's keep swinging and going backwards. And there we go. I think with our sword here, they are effectively one hit kills. So that is a nice job for us. Anyway, I think we've got one, maybe two left here. So let's take these out as they come down. We've got this guy swooping in first. So let's do a tactic. Back off a little and swing. There we go. Five phantom membrane. Ah, we got two left. But I think we should be good for now. We can brew up these potions and then we can head over to the um to the actual portal. So then we can get ready for the next episode when we will be taking down the dragon. So let's get in here and brew ourselves up some nice potions. So we got our orca potion already in here. We want to stick one phantom membrane in here. We'll let that brew up. Then we'll add some redstone. Then we can be off to the dragon. So, yeah. In this episode, we're just going to stick the eyes of Ender in the portal. In the next episode, we're actually going to go in and see how things turn out. So, anyway. This should almost be done. Then we can put in our redstone. Ooh. It's a nice colored potion. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone out here? Can we take out a couple more while we're waiting? Uh, might be a nice idea, actually. We could do the... Like, we may want a couple more phantom membrane in the future. Especially seeing as they also, like, repair Elytra. So let's just get him. Okay. I don't think they want to come under this platform here, but... Anyway, our potion's finished brewing. We can grab these. Like that. And now, I think... We can just leap the line away. We don't need any more phantoms. And we can go over to the end equipped with our whole new arsenal of weapons so oh, there are monsters nearby we can't rest of course there are so let's see I'm pretty sure one of our maps has the route uh, no that's the wrong map that's a map of the nether one of these has our way to yeah here's our way to the end portal so I think we're going to secure our other ones in here actually no we want yeah we'll leave one of them in there uh, we're also going to I guess now we just have to make our way over, so let's run over and do this thing. Okay guys, so we are finally here, we're finally back in the portal. Um, along my journey I did come across two more Eyes of Ender which were already stuck in the portal, but anyway, or two more Ender Pearls, I made some more Eyes of Ender, but anyway, let's fill this thing in, ready for next episode. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and here's the final one. We have unleashed the end. So there we go, guys. This is what we're heading into next episode for our boss fight with the Ender Dragon. And before I go in there, I'm gonna set my spawn um, right down here. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this nice prep episode, then please make sure to drop a like in the video. And if you really enjoyed them, please make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out the next episode where we'll be battling the Ender Dragon. So, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!